Hello, Cancer. Thank you very much for tuning into your general read. For the main read, I'm using the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. For the supportive Oracle Cards, the Angel Answer Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Okay. Now there's an interesting start. My cards like to do this double thing. And I don't know if it's just the way I pull them or what the deal is. See, these ones didn't do it now. Me and my big mouth. All right, well, if we need that card, we'll come to it. Do we have... Uh, I'm not sure we have an overall energy. I think we have, like, a, a, a situation in the center here. So let's start here. Now, even though this is a general read, I feel like something... Somebody's offering you something. It could very well be romance, even though it's a general read. But whatever you're, they're offering, whatever somebody's offering, like literally, you saw that flew out of my hand, uh, you're walking away from it. You're sticking with what you already have. I feel like for some of you, definitely, that is like somebody's making a romantic uh, advancement. Only The only way that's going to fit, though, is if you already have something that you feel like going with them would damage. Like if you're already in a relationship or if you're in a position um, where you think being with them would cause conflict or not be good or seen well. If it's something like that, that could be the possibility because it's something you're walking away because you're going to secure what you already have and what you already value. So you're not taking a chance on this person. I'm also seeing right above here in your mindset you have communicate clearly and you have if you believe. So I feel like you feel, you're kind of going forward and you're just telling whoever it is how you feel, why you're not, and you're moving on. So some of you, this is some other type of opportunity, like a business opportunity. Um, somebody's offer. It's definitely an offer because it's a general read. I, I want to explore that option. And it's definitely, there's somebody's offering you something. But however that's coming through, be it romance or not, be it something like a job or anything like that, you're feeling what you already have has more value and you don't want it affected by this offer. So I feel like you're very, I don't know, I feel like you're nice about it. You're just like, I'm not going to go forward with that and you explain why. I feel like you literally explain the reasons why. Like you're like, I'm not into that and this is why, but thank you. And, you like, and you're like, thank you. And you move on. You move on. Now that being said, I'm getting that's the first part of this. I do see... The, the, I feel like the offer comes back a second time. The offer comes back a second time. But with the, um, is this a solar plexus? Yes, solar plexus chakra. You're sticking with how you feel. I'm not sure if that was a truck or if that was thunder. <laughs> um... You're sticking with how you're, you're sticking with your gut instinct, where you stand. You're not moving from it, although you do realize you do have an option. That seems to be behind here, the garden and the gate. That means you can stick with what you already love and know is secure, or you can, you can try and venture out in something else. But I'm noticing how you're you're staying loyal to what you have. You're aware that this option is there, but it's very slight consideration. Like you're like, no, no, I, I'm already secure. I'm good. Um, above that, where your where your mental, your you have the base chakra, the root chakra. And be behind that, you have action. This is your mental aspect, which I feel like you're. I don't feel like you're impressed with the second offer. Because I have these two coming up. The the first chakra, the root chakra, that can be a defensive, defending defending what you have feel. And the action is like, you're making it known. Like, I feel like you're literally taking action. Like, you're letting this person know, I'm not, I said no once. And I explained to you why. I don't want you coming to around me again and asking me this. And I feel like you come across strong this time. I feel like the first time you were being nice, but you felt like, well, I understand the offer. Here's why I'm not interested. And thank you. And you move on. And to you, that was very cordial. It was nice. The thing is, at this point, you're like, listen, I was nice once, and that should have been enough. 
And I feel like you come across pretty strong. Pretty strong. Because on the other side, whatever the offer is, now it doesn't have to be romance, but if it is romance, this person realizes, nope, not going to happen. If it's a business offer or something like that, you're also making it clear, I'm not doing this. But you might be shutting the door <laughs> the way you're coming across. But you're like, you know what? I said no once. I don't want you asking me again. You made it clear. Whatever the situation was, I said no once and I was nice about it because I thought, you know, if I just explained it, things would be cool. But now you're pushing a second time. I don't, I didn't want you pushing a second time. The first no was the actual no. Now, this is me just, this is you getting on my nerves and me reiterating what I've already told you. Even though you're aware that the, the door's still open, you're slamming it. That's what I feel. And it, there might be a good reason for that. So they got the broken heart, but they have the crown chakra. Is it the crown chakra or is it the third eye? It's the third eye chakra. The cards. The lady has a crown literally on the third eye chakra. On the crown chakra. This is the third eye one. They're going with their gut. Like they, for some reason, they really feel good about you. I feel like if this is a romantic interest, it's kind of like a kindred soul. Like they feel like they know you. They ha they're having that hard connection there that just they can't get past. If it's business, it's because they really they feel like you can be a great asset to them, and they don't want to miss out. That's why they're doing it again. Whichever way it is, the other person feels really passionate. And they're they're seeing like this is a good thing. They're they're like well. Maybe I didn't explain it well. I just have to try one more time because I don't want this to pass by because they have really good feelings that this is something you should be a part of, be it romantic or not. Whatever it is, if it's romantic, it's because they're having that kindred soul feeling and they just feel like they know you and that you're meant to be with them, that you're, they're having a hard time letting it go. So they're not. They're just pushing it out there one more time because they feel like they didn't plead their case well enough. If it's the business, it's sort of the same, except the business way, they feel like you can be a great asset and they don't want to lose you. And they're just like, well, maybe if I sweeten the pot, maybe you'll go for it then. And either way, you're not you're not happy. You're not impressed with it. And you're just like, the first no was the actual no. And this is me just being annoyed with you because you're not listening to what I'm telling you. Um, the thing is, after the fact, and you do come off strong the second time. And you're worried that this is going to have some type of repercussion. I, however you're connected with this person... Because of the way you came off the second time, you're worried that this isn't going to work well in your long run. In the long run, like it's somehow going to come back to bite you in the butt. But the angel card here is saying that there's nothing to worry about, just to let it go. It's fine. Be forewarned, though. Whatever the situation is, it's not over. The other person is, whatever it is, romantic, business, whatever it is, this is not... This is not, not easily squelched. I feel like they're still hoping you become a part of it. Especially if it's romantic. They're pining. They're just. I feel like they're going to ask you again sometime in the future. So beware of it. Um, and if it's a business, they're just, they, they just don't want to give up on you. Whatever it is they want you to be a part of, they're just not relenting. So whatever the situation is, like it comes the first time you say no and explain why. Second time you're not impressed and you get really to I feel like you're very kind of vocal about it like no and I told you no and I feel like you're very to the point and you're actually thinking oh geez what if this caused problems for the future it didn't because they're still going to come later again I feel I don't know when because it's not showing it here in this time frame but they're thinking about uh again um the door to personal happiness healing and happiness i'm seeing that you have nothing to worry about like there's nothing that they can do to derail what you already have so if you're already in a romantic relationship the fact that this person keeps coming towards you they can't damage that in any sense if you're already in a business sense like i don't feel like you have to worry about that either because the fact that somebody keeps relentlessly offering doesn't mean anything on your side either like i don't feel like that makes you look bad in any sense so the final card here is like whatever way it's coming at you, whatever way it's making you uncomfortable, it's not going to damage what you already have. But I feel like you might worry about that a little bit. Like this person, I think that's another reason the don't worry card is up here. It's because you're worried like these, these constant offers, this is just, this is going to cause me problems. I know it is. Um, but I'm getting here that it's not. But you should be aware that whatever the offer was, it's probably going to come back at least a third, if not a fourth and fifth time, because this person seems very unrelenting. By breaking their heart, I feel like it's just going to be that much longer before they come back and try again, whoever it is. 
but it, apparently you didn't break it hard enough, whatever that means. I don't know. Not that you want to go around crushing people's hearts or anything, but I feel like you're doing everything. You're, I feel like you're being nice, and then you're being to the point. And it, the first time should have been enough. The second time, you're just like, well, I'll clinch it. But I feel like it's about the other person. They're just... I, th I feel like there's kind of an obsession. Whatever way it's coming at you, it's kind of an obsession thing. All right. All right, I think we're good with that. All right, so if, uh, I'm going to wrap that up here. If you would like a uh, reading for me, go ahead and shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.